I'm on BMX Josh here, and this is uh, information about my sport, BMX racing. Um, there's three different types of BMX. There's flatland, it's tricks, I mean street. There's and there's BMX racing, which happens usually more in the south and in um, like this is um, like usually it's in on. A track like with big dirt jumps like they're not um with gaps they have middles in them so like the little guys there's like different classes okay there's the cruiser class the rookie class which is beginner there's novice which is after beginner um getting better like where you can manual the rollers you can just stay on your back tire and there's um expert class which means that they're really fast and you've been racing for at least three or four years I mean not three or four years probably like five or six I don't really know but some people actually get to expert before others I'm a novice uh, I've been racing for three years so um, I'm just starting doing tricks um, Royce, you're a city boy, you don't know what BMX racing is, and I can understand that, because you live in the city. Um, uh, and my bike is not from Walmart. I have the papers to prove it. I'm just kidding. It's not a birth certificate or anything. But, um, it's not from Walmart. I bought it from a bike shop in Covington. The company is from California. They do not sell their bikes at Walmart. Go to Walmart, look for the name Redline. They do not have a Redline bicycle in there. Not a single one. And if you find one, I'll sell my bike. Or throw it away. Because it's a disgrace to have a Walmart bike. No offense to people that have Walmart bikes, but it's a disgrace to have a Walmart bike in your B mixture. So, a few things about BMX racing. If the track rain, if it rains the day before or rains the day that same day, you can't race because some people um, uh, get hurt because the track sometimes gets too slippery and you'll get you'll wreck because it's muddy and the gate will not work properly. The thing that you start out on, if you don't know what a gate is, um, and then the starting hill gets slippery and you'll all fall. Um, so yeah, and this weekend I might be going to a racetrack or I might just be going to find spots in my, in my town, um, to ride on because I got my pegs. Well, I'm getting them tomorrow or today or tomorrow. I don't really know. My dad told me about that. He just, he's going to get home today. He just got, uh, he's a truck driver. He got, um. He gets paid a lot of money for working like that. He gets he has to stay gone for months and months at a time. So um, I'll be really happy about that. I know it's gonna be home. Um, and BMX racing, it's a little different than tricks. You're not racing to you're racing to see who's the fastest. And if you're the fastest in your class, then you get to move up. Like, if you win, like, every time you get to move up a class, and it's just, it's just fun. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's all, all BMX is fun. I mean, that's all it is. It's not, um, you know, you don't have to go to practice. You can pick and choose when you want to race or when you don't want to race. It's not like football or baseball or any of that. Um, so, it'd be good for people that want to start doing tricks. If you would go to the racetrack and race before you start doing tricks so you know you can do it. Because if you can do tricks, I mean, so if you can race and you can do tricks. So, um, 